Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, um, I, my name is Tiffany and I am a senior education major in Texas. I haven't picked up the camera in a while. I literally just went searching for my iPod and I just charged it. It's been dead since March and it is now um, Monday, June 22nd. <laughs> Let me just update you with what has been going on. So my school decided to, like all other universities and K-12 through schools, do distance learning. So I had to move off campus and I had to go learn from home. <laughs> Um, my room is a complete mess, so I didn't have a good place to learn. I was usually sitting in the living room uh, with my headphones and doing my Zoom calls from there. It helped that um, I, so I only had two professors out of my five classes that actually wanted to continue teaching. So one of them decided to go on Zoom. Uh, he didn't require us to have like our video on or anything, which was good. Um, honestly, after, because we got our spring break and then we got an extended spring break and then classes started again. And I was checked out. I didn't feel like learning anymore. I was done. I wasn't motivated sitting at my um, at my house. I was just checked out. I was gone. <laughs> um, and yeah. So I only, so yeah, I was sitting in the living room and my other professor was doing Facebook Live. She was doing um, class on Facebook Live. So, I, oh, I, yeah, I was majority of the time in the living room uh, when my mom was watching TV. There were a few times where we were doing group things and I had to talk um, on Zoom with my group or in front of the entire class. So I would go into my parents' room and sit on their bed because I have a loft bed. So I couldn't really easily get me and my computer up there and sit properly and everything. Um, so yeah, those are the two places that I mainly did work and I would do homework, um, either at my boyfriend's house or on the couch. So it just wasn't a good environment for me. Um, wasn't productive. It's whatever. Yeah, so school ended, uh, early May. So I've been out of school since then. No one knows, obviously, like everyone else, no one knows what it's going to look like. As I've said before, I go to a small university, so I don't feel like it would be hard to bring us back to in-person classes because, I mean, our classes are already, like, 30 or less people, but rarely ever that much, like maybe 20, 25 or less. And there's, you know, there's ways to social distance and we can wear masks and things, so um, I think it'd be a lot easier for us social distance and to have in-person classes than a larger university. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm mainly worried about the K through 12 schools because I student teach in the spring. And so as part of my requirement in Texas, I don't know how common this is in other states, but I'm supposed to attend the first 15 days of school in the fall semester. Um, usually they try to pair you with whoever you're going to be student teaching with, but sometimes they can't. Um, so you just get to experience the first 15 days of school. Uh, because the student teachers that are in the fall, they get to go from literally, like, meet the teacher on. Um, so they experience everything. Um, we don't. <laughs> uh, considering we start in the spring, and we don't even get to see, like, the end of school. Because, you know, whenever May comes around, we graduate, we're done. And school still has, K-12 through still has another, uh, month left of school. So, we kind of get gypped in that way. Um, so that's why Texas created this requirement. And I was actually really excited because um, I feel like that will bring me a lot less anxiety when it comes to my first day of school as a teacher. Um, I'll kind of have seen what it's like. Um, 
I don't know if K through 12 will be open, <laughs> if they will be um, in person learning. I don't know if they are, if they will, if they will allow guests, because I'm technically a guest. Um, <laughs> so it's a lot of unknowns. I also have 10 hours of field experience, which isn't a big deal to me. Um, if I do it or not, because I've done so much field experience, um, but it's those 15, first 15 days that really matter to me. The governor and the Texas Education, uh, and Administration Agency? Don't know quite what it stands for. <laughs> That's bad. Um, they have already said that schools will be able to resume in the fall in person. Uh, there's been a lot of backlash. A lot of people don't think, they don't think that people can make a decision this early. Um, so as far as I know, schools will be back. Um, a lot of schools and districts are, are offering dual choices. So you can either go in person or you can go online for people who don't feel ready to go back. <sighs> so, I, like, as that being said, I don't know what's going to happen in the fall. I don't know if this is going to affect my student teaching. I don't know if this is going to affect my graduation. Um, I really hope not. Um, I know almost every student teacher that was this semester got their semester cut short, which means they missed out on literally like two and a half months of uh, learning and um, practice and everything. So I, I feel bad for them. I had a lot of friends um, that were student teaching this semester. So, um, but some of them have already gotten jobs and they're adapting and doing just fine. So I just figured I'd take you along in the week of the summer of a college student, which isn't really a normal summer for me. So my last clips, like, kept getting cut off, um, but my iPod's fully charged now, so hopefully it won't get cut off any longer. <laughs> um, but obviously I've changed. I am getting ready to go to my boyfriend's. It's about, uh, what is it, 419. So I had to go to my boyfriend's apartment this morning and pick up the Nintendo Switch because my boyfriend and I play Animal Crossing. We share a profile. Um, and so since he's at work, during, in the morning, I usually take the Switch home with me at night and I look at the turn up prices. If you play Animal Crossing, you know what I'm talking about um, because they change in the morning and then and in the afternoon. And so there'd be no way for us to check it if I didn't take it home with me. And also I really enjoy just like playing it. <laughs> and so I play it while I'm sitting at home watching TV or something. Yesterday was Father's Day and so I didn't see him at all. And I left a switch with him on Saturday when I left because, um, you know, I feel bad because <laughs> I kind of took over the game. Um, but he gets bored with games really fast. And I just was really into it and everything. And I was the one who wanted it first. So, yeah. So I try to leave it for him. Um, like on the weekends when I leave. Just so he can do it. So he agreed to go buy the turnips tomorrow. Or yesterday morning. Because they you can only buy them on Sunday mornings. And so he did that. And I think he did some tasks too as well maybe. I don't know. But yeah. So I had to go grab that so I could check the morning prices. And then I went to the gym. Then I'm just going to be working on some uh, studying for my certification test and hopefully when I get to his apartment I'll kind of go over um, what go all goes into that. Uh, yeah, so I hope I'll catch up with you later. Um, I don't really know what else to say, so I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. So hello, it is now 6.07. And I just got finished with dinner and watching a show. Um, my boyfriend, I always come over to my boyfriend's to have dinner. And so um, we had hot dogs and crescent rolls and I made them and he seasoned them. Um, which he's usually the one making the dinner so I feel uh, happy when I get to make dinner for him. Um, yeah, and so... We watched some Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is a show that we are trying to finish right now. Um, we are on the last season currently, um, so we'll have to find something to fill the gap when uh, we finish that. But I wanted to show you what has been taking up my time the past couple of weeks, 
Um, and maybe share some tips if you find yourself in the same situation as me uh, trying to get your certification for teaching. So this is the website our uh, school has us use. It's 242 Tutoring, um, and I had to be sent a link to it or whatever. Um, so it just has literally like every teacher certification test study guide you can think of. Like, a lot. And so because I am EC through 6, I'm working on the uh, core subject test right now. And so it splits it into different sections based on content area. Um, and so I am I already finished the social studies portion. And right now I'm working on the science portion. So I'm going to go ahead and go into it and show you what it looks like. So I finished the scientific instruction portion. Scientific process, earth and space science, physical science, and I'm currently on life science. As you can see, I have done requirements of life and structure and function. I still need genetics, principles of evolution, and ecology. And then once that's done, I can take the practice test, and I have three attempts to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and resume the life science, which I'm 40% done with. So this is kind of what it looks like when you open it up. And so... Um, it has different um, quit numbers of quizzes for each one, just depending on how much information is in it. So um, you have the instructional content, the flashcards, and the quizzes. Quiz or quizzes. So there's structure and function. That one had five quizzes. And now I am on genetics. And so this one has four quizzes, so it's not quite as long as the structure and function. So... I go into instructional content, and it's just a lot of reading, a lot of charts, things like that. Just kind of giving you definitions and things like that. Um, and then I don't really need to show you the flashcards part, but you know, it's just what's well, definition of Punnett square, and then you press the um, the flip button and it will show you the definition. It's kind of like Quizlet in that sense. Um, and then the quiz, you can start the quiz and then it gives you a question and you just answer and it tells you if you got it correct right then and there and then you can retake it. She, uh, My professor uh, wants us to get a hundred on all the quizzes so I often have to retake them. I usually get about one wrong. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what my journal looks like. So this was one of the classes I took this semester. Um, I didn't really use much of the journal. So I just had to repurpose it for this. So as you can see, I have a bunch of sticky notes up here. So I kind of divided it where it starts at test prep. So these are all the notes I took for the class. So that's why I decided to use the rest of the uh, journal for notes. And so, flip the page, it starts with the social studies. I have uh, different sticky notes to indicate the different sections. So, I have this little stitch pack of sticky notes, and so I use those currently. And so I wrote that it's social studies, and I wrote the four sections that are within social studies. So, here's where it starts history, and I just have some notes. And then, you know, you get to the end of the history section. And it will go on to geography and then so on. And then when you see the blue tabs, that's when it changes to science. So that I can just kind of have a good idea of where it switches over. So this is the one that um, I feel is the best representation of how I do my notes. And so um, in blue is always the section. So for the geography ones, it's always... Like geography and culture or whatever. It's whatever is um, right here. So this is the big overarching section. And then in purple is the subsection. So the little individual things. So that's how I break them up. And so if I turn the page to that, obviously you'll see the next one was cultural and social geography. So I was an avid in high school, if you know what that is, and so this I just like to take Cornell notes. Um, I've adapted Cornell notes to my 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 own use, and these aren't even how I usually do Cornell notes um, when I take notes for classes. 
this is how I tend to take Cornell notes. So, you know, there's never really anything in the margin. It's just for the look of it. Um, but yeah, but I decided to do a little different this time. And so, let's see. If I click on the instructional content, so see the first section on this is asexual reproduction, and so I would put that right here. And so this first section was general causes of the American Revolution, and you know I just write all down all the notes, and then I skip a space and I go on to the next section. So then the next section would be sexual reproduction, and so I would put that here kind of thing. Um, and then, so I put the subsections in pink, and I just write in pencil, because I feel best writing in pencil, and I feel like my handwriting's best. And then any extra notes that I need, I write in blue. So, uh, intolerable acts were also called the coercive acts. Um, War of 1812 was also considered the second war of independence. Um, the steamboat and the steamboat locomotive. Um, so... This bullet point created the transportation revolution. So just things like that. Um, 300 fa families, old 300. Things like that. Don't mind my handwriting, it's really bad. Um, and then when I get into the flashcards, I will... So say it asked me what the Sugar Act of 1764 was. So I kind of knew what it was, but I couldn't exactly say what it was i missed out some parts so i gave me a check mark with a line through it to mean i kind of got it right um it asked me about john locke and so i didn't know about john locke and so i kind of did a little um definition of it just to help me because i didn't get the exact definition that was in the flashcards and then the quartering act of 1865 i knew exactly what it was so i gave myself a check mark so you know you see a bunch of green writing throughout this and then for any words that I didn't end up writing down I may have just skipped over or like some of them they'll say a word but they won't give like definition and so I don't know what to write down for it and so I don't write it down um so I just write them all down here so uh, impressment and the definition of impressment the Texas Declaration of Independence and when it was written and things like that and then I have all my quizzes color-coded. So this one had six quizzes. And so quiz one, these are the questions that I missed. And so when I miss a question, I write it down so that I know not to miss it next time. Um, I never look at this while I'm taking the quiz or while I'm doing the flashcards. So it's uh, just kind of basically all memory. And so quiz two, quiz three, quiz four, quiz five, and quiz six. And then sometimes, let's go to geography, I don't, see look this one, I didn't have any definitions to write down, I didn't do, I didn't write down anything from the quizzes. Sometimes if it's, here let me turn it around, sometimes if it's like a question that's like, oh well what should Mrs. Martin do? If it's something very scenario specific, I'm not going to write it down because then I'm writing the whole scenario. Um... And I mean, I don't really feel like the scenario questions are as important as like the content <laughs> questions. Um, so I just kind of use my judgment and decide what I want to write down and what I don't. Um, sometimes if I miss a question just because I misread or because I um, just picked the wrong answer is moving too fast, then yeah, I don't write it down. So I just kind of use my judgment and yeah, so I've been working on that. Uh, let me show you how many pages this has taken up. I'm pretty sure after science, I'm going to have to get a new notebook because I don't think it's going to withstand a whole nother um, subject. So this is all of the pages that it's taken up. And this is the room I have left, and I still have to write notes for those three sections that are going to take up these pages. So, I, once I, I'm i pretty sure I'm going to be doing the miscellaneous section next, which is the basically the fine arts section. It's PE and music and art. 
Um, I will be moving on probably to a different notebook, and I'll try to fit math in that one too, and I'll see if I can fit reading. Um, so after I finish all the practice tests for this one, I have to message my professor and tell her I am ready to take the real test, and I will have to sign up for a testing date, and then I will move on to my, um, uh, pedagogy test, the PPR, and then after that I will move on to my ESL certification test. Um, I truly only need the Texas, so the core subjects, and the PPR, the pedagogy test. I don't need to take my ESL before I graduate or before I become a teacher. It just, especially in my area, I my area has a lot of um, families that speak Spanish and Vietnamese. And so there's a lot of ESL students in my in the district I want to work in. Um, so it just kind of it, it pads your resume and it just kind of helps you get a job. Um, so yeah, that's why I re that's why I want to do it. I'm lucky that my college has an ESL certification to give me that chance. I've already taken my two ESL classes, so I just need to study for it basically. Yeah, so I want to take my certification tests and get them all passed before student teaching. I want to be able to be a fully certified teacher just without the degree. <laughs> By the time I student teach, I don't have to worry about taking these tests and passing them when I'm student teaching. Um, so that is the plan. I was afraid that uh, this distance learning was going to affect that because usually we take the practice test on campus um but she gave us this opportunity and so that made me like, very happy and i jumped up to chance um i did give myself a little while to uh, recover from the school year um and just you know do what i want so play games and watch shows and things like that now i'm able to find a balance between the things i want to do and the things i have to do um, yeah, and it helps I'm not taking any classes this summer, like I thought I was gonna have to, so that works out. So, yeah, um, I'll probably catch up with you guys later tonight once I get home. Um, uh, yeah. Hi, can I just get a, a large grape slush with extra nerds and a six-piece mozzarella stick? You said a, a grape slush with nerds? Yes, a large grape slush. And a medium monster? Yes. And is it enough? That's gonna be it. So it's 821. Thank you. So I'm starting to get um, a taste for uh, Sonic slushes again. <laughs> so that's where I am. I have decided that I will allow myself one slush a week. Um, just so that, you know, I get my little fix but I don't go overboard on it and like undo all the work that my working out is doing. So yeah, um, there's one right on my way home from my boyfriend's and so it's an easy stop. But I was just in another stall and I was sitting there for like over five minutes probably. And then I noticed another car pull up to me. I'm like, I'm gonna watch this car and if they get their order taken before me, I'm gonna move to another stall. They did, and so as soon as I heard her um, putting in her order, I moved to another stall. I'm like, this is ridiculous, because, like, the red button stopped flashing like it went dark, like, as if I hadn't pushed it. Like, it looked like that, but on the screen, it had the red bar that said, um, red button ac activated. So I might, I might try to back out and look at it and see if it's still like that, or if they ever picked it up, or what. I don't know. I didn't know if I was supposed to push it again or what but anyway I am headed home and I will maybe update you tonight um, I'll at least sign off probably I don't know we'll see I'm pretty bad at doing a lot of things anyway so I actually just almost went to bed without signing off for the night because like I said I'm bad at things <laughs> Um, so yeah, I haven't really done much since I got home. I've watched, um, some Netflix. I'm rewatching this series called Cheer Squad. 
on Netflix and it's really good. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm excited because my class ring is here and I get to go pick it up from the post office tomorrow so I'll bring you along for that. Hello, good morning. It is 11.30 on Tuesday, June, June 23rd and I am so tired. <laughs> Um, we had a big storm hit around 7.30ish, um, and yeah, there was lots of rain, lots of thunder, and I don't like storms, so I was woken up, and I got to be awake until it, um, got lighter, and then I was able to go back to sleep. Um, our power went out for a split second. <laughs> um, my boyfriend goes to work, um, at about 7.00. So he was already at his first job by the time the storm hit, and um, I was like, did you get stuck in the rain? He's like, yeah. <laughs> um, so right now, I am headed to his apartment to uh, take care of his dog, because his dog would refuse to go out this morning because she hates the rain. Um, and then, I also am going to the post office, because I have a package to pick up. I ordered my class ring back in October. In April, we were supposed to have a ring ceremony where the ring stays the night in the chapel and, um, you know, I get pictures taken and it's just a ring ceremony. And, uh, I don't get that because they cancel it instead of, like, pushing it to the fall, which I would have been okay with. Um, so they shipped it to us, so I get to go get that. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to be participating in next year's ring ceremony, um, because I will be student teaching. So, I don't know if, like, I thought this last year, it was supposed to be on a Monday. And if it's on a Monday, but it's, like, during the day, I can't go. <laughs> um, if it's at, like, 6 o'clock, I could probably go, but... Yeah, so real quick, I'm going to show off my my current class ring, my high school one. Okay, this is a much better uh, view. So you can see that it says Panthers on it, with a panther, and then on the other side, it has my name, my graduation year, and the little fish and cross for the Christian symbols. So that's my class ring. So I've had that since... My senior year of high school, I got it pretty close to graduation because I got it as a graduation package, so I got my cap and gown with it as well. Um, so I didn't get to wear it much in high school, but I've worn it all three years of college, and it feels weird to not have it anymore. Um, I'm going to put it in its case when I get home. Um, but it's a bittersweet time because I'm letting go of my high school ring. Sorry, that was rain. But I will catch up with you guys later. I got the package. I'm so excited. The pop socket I use on this thing is terrible, but it was free from my school. So it's always like collapsing on itself. And the one on my phone that I bought from work never collapses. And the white box. And there it is, nestled in there. Oh, it's such a pretty box. Look at this. Ah. Woo! My ring fell out. But, as if, um, it was, it, wow, it really can't be put in there. Yikes. There it is. I'm so excited. That's a loud snap. Did you hear that? That hurt my ear. Okay, so there's the top of it with, uh, my school's logo and everything, 1891. And then there is my graduation year. Um, our little victory bell that's on campus that we ring, and um, the little bulldog logo. And on this side is a picture of the chapel and the initials of the school. And if you look real close on it, the whole reason I wanted this ring, let me see if I can point it out. Right there, where my thumbnail is, there's a little squirrel in the tree. It's so, they paid so much attention to detail on this thing. So I'm taking off this ring, and I'm putting on this one. I don't know which side I'm supposed to be facing me, but 
It fits. And it's comfy. It's not overly... It's not loose and it's not tight either. I can get it off. I'm just trying to see what it feels like compared to this. New Era College Ring. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so happy it's here. has been let out and I am headed home now sorry I'm out of breath in the stairs um, when I was leaving my house I didn't know if I should go to the post office first or to my boyfriend's apartment first because the post office and the apartment opposite sides of town so but either way it's basically the same I still pass my the road to my house if I would to go to post office first or go to the uh, apartment first, I still have to pass on that road. Um, so, yeah, I just figured I'd go to my boyfriend's apartment last because I'm more used to going home that way than I am from the post office. So there'd be less chance I'd actually accidentally miss my turn. Um, so yeah, I'm headed home. I need to dye my hair, which I don't want to. <laughs> But, <laughs> um, it needs to be done, and uh, Tuesdays are really the only day I can do it, since I work out every other day of the week. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch up with you later once I have freshly dyed hair. Alright, so it is now 4.47, and um, I am headed to my boyfriend's apartment again, but this time to actually hang out with him. He's not quite off work yet, but he asked me to go a little early to make sure the air is set really low because it's just really hot today and he's uh, not feeling well because he has an outdoor job. Um, but as you can tell, my hair did not get dyed. Um, my mom told me that if I dye my hair today, I cannot go swimming for three days. That might have been okay if the gym did not require face masks, but they do and that would mean that I can't go swimming Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I still have two days of swimming left and I don't want to sacrifice uh, my workouts this week if I find out that I can't go to the gym anymore because I just can't do the face mask. Um, so I have decided that I will um, dye my hair Friday. I'll just switch up my workout schedule a little bit and I'll swim on Wednesday and Thursday instead. And then I'll work out at the gym on Friday so that I can like wash my hair on Thursday to get all the chlorine out of it. Um, so that I can dye my hair on a Friday. Um, it's just, and my roots are really overgrown and they need to touch up really bad. Um, so I need to do that. Um, yeah, so when I was a kid, um, my dad bought this uh, game for the GameCube. <laughs> Uh, called Spongebob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom and it's still my favorite game to this day like I've played through it so many times um, and I just love the GameCube in general but they just came out with a rehydrated version what they call it is basically a remastered version with um, updated graphics but there's not as from what I can see there's not really a lot of changes in the gameplay or the um, storyline so I'm kind of hesitant on whether to buy it or not. It's only $30, so it's not like a normal like PlayStation game, which is like $60. So I'm still deciding if I should buy it. I think I will. <laughs> Just in case, so that I have something to play. I, I can still play it if like my GameCube gives out or something. So yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna buy it like tomorrow, go to Target. I wanted to go to Target today, but my boyfriend does not seem like he's in a good mood or want to go uh, to the store with me. So I will go tomorrow on my own time. But yeah, um, he's already he has a PlayStation and he already told me that I can play it on there like when he's at work or something. So that's my plan. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say. 
we are planning on having hamburger helper tonight don't know if that will really be what we have considering he may not want to cook usually on days like this he doesn't feel like cooking um if we might have pizza could we have frozen pizza in the freezer or we might go out and get something but yeah so i will check in with you guys later tonight probably after i get home because i don't really have much else to update you on while i'm at his apartment all right i'm gonna make this quick because i'm really tired it's like 2 30 a.m but i'm just now getting back on the update um, so, didn't really do much today, uh, I had Chick-fil-A, just because, like I thought, my boyfriend did not feel like cooking, which is fine. And then, I finished my science course-ish, um, <laughs> the one I talked about, uh, yesterday, I believe. All I have to do is take the practice test, and I did not feel like doing that tonight, and I did not have enough time to do that before I left my boyfriend's. And so I'll do it tomorrow, probably before I go over there. I'm gonna go swimming tomorrow and Thursday, so I'm excited. And I will talk to you guys in the morning. Alright, hello, good morning. It is Wednesday, June 24th at 10.57. And I am headed to the pool. As you can see, my little swimsuit poking out here. Yeah, I was gonna go to, like, either Target or Walmart and pick up that game that I mentioned yesterday, but it's already 11 and I like to get there before the lifeguards do. And they get there at about 12.30ish. Um, I just like to have my little alone time. And so, uh, that's why I'm not going to the store right now. I'll probably go on my way to my boyfriend's house. It's kind of cloudy today. It's, um, it just rained. So hopefully, uh, there won't be a lot of people at the pool. Last time I went, there were a lot of people. Um, because I just, I really like my alone time. And that's why I'm a future house. I will have a pool. Um, but I'm using the community pool for now. Um, yeah, I'll pr I might vlog while I'm there. Um, let me show you what I take in my pool bag. I just have a little tote bag. I got it free from the science fest I volunteered at for the education program at my school. And inside I have, it's gonna fall, I have a book, uh, the book I'm currently reading. I am trying to read a chapter every day because I have seriously, ever since high school, fallen out of reading for pleasure. Um, and I have a bunch of books because I would keep buying books and not read them. So I'm just trying to get through my collection and then once I get through my collection I'll start going to the library and checking out books. Um, so right now I'm reading The Juvie 3 by Gordon Corman, and I'm hoping that some of my books I will, um, feel like putting in my classroom library. Um, but I'm kind of pre-reading them to make sure that they're appropriate. And, uh, so far I've read two books and I don't think they're quite appropriate for elementary school students. Um, so these will be staying in my personal collection. Um, but I'm almost done with this one. I have it, so... I use Mrs. Call's Camper's trackers on Instagram, um, so go follow her on YouTube and Instagram. I will leave her um, name and everything in the description box below. I love her so much, um, but yeah, I use her trackers and I um, daily just say that I've read a book um, using her habit tracker and her workout tracker, and so... Um, the way I do it, when I'm finished with the book, I say how many chapters there were and how many pages there were. And so right now, um, just because the tracker, um, I am reading this until the end of June. So I'm reading two chapters a day and that will take me until the last day of June. So that it's not split between two months, if that makes sense. And then the next thing in here is sunscreen because I went the first day without sunscreen. I'm like, I'm only going to be there for like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm not going to burn. Oh, I burned. It hurt. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm paler than I thought and more susceptible to burning than I thought. So sunscreen it is. And I haven't burned since. So when? Question mark. And then I have the pool key. So um, and then once I get there, I do throw in my car keys and my phone, and I'll be throwing in this iPod as well. 
um, just to keep it in a secure, safe um, place. And then I have my towel with me. So yeah, and I also have a bottle of water. Anyway, I should get going, so I will talk to you later. There's no one here, which is exciting. Um, I usually lay out, usually right around there. But since it just rained, all the chairs are wet. So I am sitting under the covering uh, because these chairs are dry. So I'm gonna go swimming and I will check back in with you later. Just wanna show you how full this pool is. So, you see that? You see the water is completely covering that depth sign and usually it's sitting right underneath it. It's because of the, we got a huge storm yesterday and we got a storm last night and this morning and so it's full. So usually when I come here I swim five laps so one, back and forth is one. I'm trying to get up my stamina and do more laps but something seems to be standing in my way every time. Um, five laps usually when I start to get bored and tired, that's usually my limit, but uh, I want to do more. But the pool is just way too dirty. There's so many dead bugs and leaves and other plant particles and no. Um, I probably could have grabbed that skimmer that's over there, but then I would have wasted time skimming the pool because I know it never would have been enough. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow's better. It was just really gross and I didn't feel like swimming in that, but I did do my five laps. It was just very hard to do this time around because of everything in the pool. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna read two chapters of my book. Um, and usually I leave after that, but I kind of want to make sure that I dry off. Um, just because I really just want to go to the store after this. Just because I don't want to do it later. I'm more out and about and I usually like to get all my out and about things done when I'm out. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna try to draw as much as I can. I'm not sitting in the sun and I'm not laying out, so I don't know how well it's gonna be. I'm sitting up in a chair. So hopefully the breeze blowing and just sitting here will help me dry off a little bit. I'll try to sit here for as long as I can. But there's so many flies. Um, anyway, I will get back to you later and let you know what I do. So this book took like forever for me to get into. Um, it was just, uh, I, I just couldn't get into it. I was really slow and I was kind of forcing myself to read. Oh, but now I'm on, um, chap I just finished chapter 25 and there's 36 chapters total. And I didn't want to put it down. I finished my two chapters and like, I want to keep reading, but I really want to stick to my plan and finish it by the last day of June. Um, just because it looks better on the tracker in my mind. It's a dilemma. It's definitely a dilemma. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it down for today. Um, also, another reason I'm doing this is because, uh, maybe I can find a book that I don't like and I can sell it. <laughs> um, just to get rid of my collection a little bit. But the good thing is, um, my boyfriend, he's not much of a reader. But when we move in together, we are planning to get a bookshelf so that I have a place to put all my books because I really don't. I have um, those little Sterlite drawers from Walmart. I have a couple of those in my room and one of the drawers is filled with books along with um, I have a shelf on my wall and I have some books in there. So, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Yeah. But um, I will catch you guys later. I'm going to play some games on my phone probably while I'm still drying off. I had to leave because some people showed up and I felt really awkward um, but I'm pretty much dry so I think I am going to go ahead and run to Target so I will catch up with you then. Alright I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me I might have to cut out all these parts 
But I plan to take you along through the store with me. Um, like I said, my county is requiring masks. So I made sure to put my mask on. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had two targets to choose from. They're both about the same distance apart, just in different towns. Um, and so I chose this one because I'm hoping I can go to Sonic and get a uh, Red Bull slush, a free one, um, and some food. Um, uh, because the one by my house does not offer online ordering. So I'm hoping one around here does because there's like a Sonic just down the street. So hopefully it works out for me. And I just turned off these windshield wipers. I don't know why they're still on. Since when does Target's book section look like a bookstore and not a grocery store? So I found the game, but I'm waiting for an employee to come get it for me. And I'm waiting a while and I don't know what to do. Asking people for help. I legitimately don't know, know, how long, know how long I have to wait until I have someone else. Well, I just want to time when I ask someone. I'm so bad I remember faces, so I'm also scared to ask someone because I don't know what they look like the first person I asked, and I don't want to ask that same person again. Well, it's a good thing that I am wearing a swimsuit because it is raining and it's not pouring, but it's enough to get you, sorry I cannot get this off, get you substantially wet when walking to the car. Um, <laughs> but I have secured the game and I am excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it today or not, uh, just because it depends on <laughs> my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, I am going to put an order in at Sonic. I really have to pee so hopefully I can actually go to Sonic. <laughs> Alright, I just had to run into Target real quick to use their bathroom because I could not wait even until I got home if I just skipped Sonic entirely. So, now I'm headed to Sonic. So I just checked in, um, so hopefully I'll be receiving it soon. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in, on Monday, um, but the only reason I'm getting a Red Bull slush is because I have a coupon for a free one uh, when I buy something else. And Tots sounds really good, so I'm getting Tots. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's free, so why not? And um, the location near me does not do online ordering. It is an online order only coupon. So I have to deal with that. Um, there's a lot of people surrounding me and I'm nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, usually it's like, hello, welcome, Tiffany, but it doesn't. And it tells me like where my order is and everything, but whatever. Um, yeah. So, um, I was not completely dry when I put my clothes on after swimming, and so my shirt is soaked, and I was cold in Target, and I'm cold now. Um, and I just, I want to get home. I'm a little far from home, um, which is fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I still need to do my practice test, and if I get that done in a timely manner, then I might go play that game. I don't know, but yeah, so I guess I will catch up with you later and let you know what I do. So I just got my slush, and I really hope he didn't see me vlogging because I was sitting here and all of a sudden I hear, hello, and I'm like, so I rolled down my window and I turn around, I can smell the Red Bull in this thing. I, I've never tried Red Bull, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. I just, it's free, and I got nerds in it to try to make it better. It's a watermelon Red Bull slush. There's so many nerds in here, but I think it's because it's, because it's got the Red Bull, it makes it a little more watery, so it's a little less firm than a slush is, because a slush is just ice. <laughs> I'm really scared. You can smell it, it's strong. But I figured I'd like the watermelon flavor over the other flavors, so. It's not bad. It's pretty good.
pretty good. That's shocking. Um, I don't think I'll actually be paying for it. Just because I don't need that in my life. <laughs> um, but it's good for, you know, once. I took my ring off to swim and I put it back on. And it's like hurting. I think it's from... No, no, my skin is really sensitive right now, I guess, in that area. But... I guess I'm gonna just leave it and hopefully my skin adapts to it. Anyway, now I'll let you know what I do later. So I am home now. Um, I almost got pulled over. <laughs> I was driving on a street that was 35 and I know I was going over 35 and I just didn't realize what speed it was. Um, yeah, and I saw a cop pull out a couple cars behind me and I'm like, oh. And so I just kind of kept the speed limit and like I made the quickest turn at the red light I could and uh, but he pulled into another parking lot. So it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, yeah. I know I'm breaking my one slash a week rule but like this was unprecedented and the coupon expires soon and I just I didn't know when I was going to be able to get back out again. So I did it. Um, and then finally I really want to go check the mailbox. Um, but I need to stop. I have so many packages in the mail, but shipping is so slow right now because of the virus. So nothing's coming as like fast as it usually comes. And so I'm, I know I'm expecting a package on Friday. So, or at least it says that. <laughs> um, so hopefully I, so I will wait till Friday to check the mail. Whew, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm going to get inside, and as much as I don't want to, I'm going to take a shower, and then I can eat my tots. <laughs> Bye. So I left my iPod here accidentally while I went to my boyfriend's. Um, when I was getting out of the car, I just put everything in the pool bag, including the iPod, and I just forgot about it. <laughs> um, but, it, I mean, not a big deal. Not like I was really going to update there, probably, anyway. Um... But, yeah, so, uh, not a lot really happened today. Uh, we got there, and <laughs> the original plan was to have Hamburger Helper. We both didn't feel like it, so we just went to Wendy's, which we have not had in forever, and that's what I have when I'm at work, and I have not worked since March. So I have not had Wendy's since March, because he has not felt like it. So I've kind of been, like, craving it, and so it was really nice to have that just as a change from our usual places that we go. And, yeah, I, um, started a new unit on my little studying thing. Well, I finished the science practice test, and then I started a new unit. I started the fine arts section, which was, uh, visual arts, music, theater, and then PE and health. And, yeah, I kind of regret doing that over math. Um, it's just, because when the social studies and the science, and I'm sure the math and the reading, they separate the content from the teaching. And this one just kind of smushes it all together in one big, long, little paragraph thing. And, I mean, I'm never going to have to be an art teacher or a music teacher because the district that I plan on working in, that I really hope I get a job in, they have specials. They have music, and they have art, and they have PE. So I'm not going to have to be the one teaching them all of this stuff. Um, so I feel like it just goes too in-depth. Um, but, I mean, it's fine. I finished the visual art one, so hopefully I can get through this in a weekend. But, I don't know. Also, I am not wearing my ring. It's in the box over there. It's right there. Um, as you can see, there's an indentation in my finger. And it was, my whole finger was sensitive today. And I don't know if it's, it's not really still there, but there was like a discoloration right over here. You can still kind of see it. Um, everyone thought it was kind of like a bruise. I was unsure if the cause of my pain was from the ring being too tight or maybe an allergy to the metal because I know when I was a kid 
I had an allergy to earrings that were not platinum or gold. Um, this ring is a type of silver. And obviously it's, you know, it's not cheap jewelry, so it's not going to be the type of jewelry that turns your skin green. Um, so I wasn't really worried about that aspect of it, uh, because I paid $500 for this ring, so it better not turn my skin green. Um, but I was just worried that I was allergic to the metal used in the ring, because I'm not sure what that metal is, and I'm not sure what metal was used in my class ring. I don't know if they're the same, they're both a silver color. And I had no issues with my class ring, uh, my high school ring. Um, it fit just fine, and it would even fall off at times when I got, like, really cold and my fingers, like, shrunk. So, I'm hoping it was just a bad day with, uh, swelling in my fingers. I'm hoping that I don't have to pay to either get the ring in, like, a new material, or to get it resized. <laughs> Um, because, I mean, I paid $500 for this ring, I want to wear it, I don't want to, um, have it sit in a box, or, uh, be on a necklace, I want to wear it like a ring. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just giving my finger a little break, um, and hoping that I can put it on tomorrow, after I, um, swim and get out of the shower. But, yeah, nothing really crazy. Is going on. I just edited the this week's video. I finished editing it. I edited it halfway last Friday and then it's just it's almost an hour. Um, so I just got tired of editing it and so then I picked it back up tonight so that I can export it probably tomorrow and um, get it saved because that takes a while especially because it's one of my I think one of my longest videos it's it came down to 48 minutes. And I still have to see if I have to do any edits to it. Um, like if I have to uh, add music or something somewhere. Because my, I use just Windows Video Editor, video editor that comes for free on um, the on your Windows computer. I used the when they had Windows Movie Maker. That's, I used to make YouTube videos, uh, there were nothing special, uh, it was like 12, so I need to delete those, but I used to make YouTube videos, and I used Windows Movie Maker all the time, it was super easy to use, and I actually got a decent quality video out of it, and using the skills I have now, and my age, um, I could make something even better, but this is not a great program. Um, but I am not ready to de um, devote money to my YouTube career yet. I want it to kind of expand a bit before, you know, I buy an actual camera and I buy a uh, video editor's uh, program and things like that. So I'm just kind of dealing with low quality videos right now. Um, so yeah, something that I keep forgetting to mention all week. So I started this challenge. So let me show you. This thing holds all my makeup. You can see a drawer is pulled out right here. But there's eyeshadow palettes all in this one. And then there are some down there. So I counted uh, when I decluttered last. And I think I have around 40 to 50. I forget the exact number. So I decided to do a makeup challenge where I spend a week, seven days, with a palette and do seven different looks. And I've been consistent. It's been encouraging me to uh, do makeup even though I am literally going nowhere. And I'm like, dipping in the palettes that I have never, have barely touched. And I even was able to get rid of a palette because I decided I did not really like it after trying out um, you know, close to 10 colors out of the, eight, I think it was the 18 or 21 color palette. Um, so yeah, I used to be obsessed with buying palettes and I would just buy them because I thought they were pretty and never really paid attention to quality or that I have that same color or that basically the same palette in like five palettes. So yeah, I'm hoping that I can declutter some more of them just because I have too much. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's been exciting. Tomorrow is my last day with the current palette I'm on. I have a Too Faced palette. 
And so I move on to the next palette tomorrow, and I hope my Morphe palette comes in because uh, I just bought it and I can't wait to use it. I'm so excited. And I'm not, I looked, and I kind of usually just pick off the top, so it's a random thing. I'm not really like, picking and choosing because then I'll pick the palettes I usually use and not the ones I have hardly ever used. And I'm not really excited about them. So, um, yeah. But I think I should end this video because it is now nine minutes and I didn't realize I've been rambling that long. And I need to go to bed. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, well, I have to make this quick because my iPod is on low battery and I don't want it to cut off. But I am headed to the pool. I have no motivation to work out. Um, I just want to sit at home and do nothing. But the whole point of working out is to not do that. I'm tired of waking up early, tired of getting dressed to go to work out, and tired of actually working out. And I've, it's my three week mark ish, so that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, so I just gotta push through and hope I find a second wind here in the next week or two. Keep me going. Um, yeah, uh, so I will catch up with you maybe at the pool, maybe later if my iPod dies. There's so many people here and I'm nervous. There's like three cars, um, which, I mean, those three cars can hold a family of like four each, possibly. Um, but, oh yeah, um, I saw someone leaving. So I'm hoping that they are actually, like, you know, leaving and not, like, dropping someone off and leaving. Because that would mean there's less people, which is great for me. Um, I see one family that has, like, seven to ten year olds and one family that has babies. So hopefully I can just get my laps in because this is ridiculous and I'm sad. I came early so that there'd be no one here but you know whatever. So uh, the pool actually worked out in my favor because right when I got in there the older kids that I mentioned were leaving. Um, they were in the process of drying off getting dressed and ready to go and then the only other family that was there or only other group that was there were um, they had like a, a couple three-year-olds so they were in the shallow uh, blocked off area of the pool so I got basically the whole uh, rest of the pool to myself which was nice and I swum swum I swam six laps today so that's an achievement for me um I pretty sure I mentioned this before but I've been doing five um so I want to try to start increasing every week um just because it will take me a while to get used to the six and then bump up to seven but yeah so that's exciting I'm headed to my boyfriend's right now. Um, he has to go to his friend's house and learn how to take care of their cats because they're going on vacation. And I'm allergic to cats, so I get to sit in the truck. Um, but he did offer for me to stay at home. I'm like, mm, no. So, um, yeah, I am giving my ring another try. I'm wearing it and seeing if my finger turns sensitive again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I can already feel that it's tight. But I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I feel like I was going to say something, but I forgot. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll just catch up with you guys later. Alright, so I remembered what I wanted to say. <sighs> so, I was sitting at the pool and I got an email that kind of updates on July and the fall for my school. And I saw saying that they're going to limit capacity in the residence hall so everyone will have their own room. And in the apartments, it will be two to an apartment and it's a four person apartment. So that like changes everything because they already barely have enough room for everybody as it is when it's normal. And now they're, they're down like to 50% capacity. So... <laughs> Um, they released, and then the residence life the director, um, released an email, and he said that freshmen get first priority for housing, and then sophomores, and then upperclassmen. And it's very likely that upperclassmen will not receive housing. They tell us this in late June. Today is June what? 25th? 
and school starts in exactly two months. School, or not exactly, I think school starts on the 27th. But I have two months to find housing near my school. And there's a very good chance that I will have to live out of the city because now everyone's gonna be scrambling for housing in the city. And you know, there's only so much. And then the town over is significantly more expensive than the town that my school is in. So that's gonna be an issue. And I don't know, like, I don't, there's so much unknown. Um, my best friend who I have lived with for a year and a half, we're talking about living in an apartment together, possibly with a three bedroom with one of my other friends. But the thing is, I'd be the driver for everyone, which is fine. But like, I just feel bad that I won't be able to be in the places for everyone. Luckily, my best friend and I, we have the same exact schedule on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's just Tuesday, Thursday, it's a big difference because she has an 8 a.m. and I have a 1 p.m. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, she's going to try to get on campus housing just because she doesn't drive, so hopefully they'll make an exception um, so that she won't have to pay so much out of pocket for an apartment. But um, my dad and I are planning on going apartment hunting. I might bring the camera along. I might not. It just depends. Um, if I can get away from my dad, I might just film without talking um, the different apartments that I look at. I have not heard good things about the apartments. They're just, you know, they're older. They're not as old as the ones at my school. Those are from the 70s. There's no way that they can be worse than the on-campus apartments, I don't think. But, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a big change. Um, I never wanted to live off campus. There's a reason I went to this small of a school, and that's because they had four-year housing. Um, it's just easier for me to walk to school, walk to class, um, roll out of bed five minutes for class, so I'm going to have to be waking up earlier, which is going to be significantly difficult for me, and especially why I don't want to live in the next town over, because that's a 20-minute commute that I'd have to add on. Um, so it's going to be a very big transition, and um, especially when student teaching, because I will now be away from the school that I requested for student teaching. So... Yeah, everything's just getting thrown up in the air, and we're scrambling to catch all the pieces. <sighs> so I'm hoping everything will work out. I'm hoping I get a good apartment, and I'm hoping that my friends find housing, whether it's with me, or in some other situation, or on campus. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm scared. I'm worried. Um, it will be significantly less money than what I have been paying for room and board. Uh, that'll make my tuition less. And the apartments, they're not super bad. I think they're 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 under a thousand or like up to like twelve hundred. Um, and so splitting that among two or three people, that's not bad. Um, I mean, my boyfriend pays twelve hundred for his one bedroom. So it's just yeah. Um, I if I do live off campus I probably will I did put in a request to be put on campus but I doubt they're going to um, and even if they do I might decline it just because they'll probably give me an apartment and I'd rather live in an off-campus apartment than an on-campus apartment so yeah um, I don't have any furniture which is also why I have not been shifting to off-campus living um, because I would have to somehow afford. Uh, oh, you can see my dog's scratches. Um, <laughs> I'd have to afford the furniture. Um, my friend, her dad is a mover, and so he can get furniture. But I don't know what kind of furniture she can get. I'm probably gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to buy a bed or have a mattress on the floor or something. Um, or get a really cheap bed. I'm probably gonna have to remove my desk from my room and put it in the apartment. 
there's just a lot that's gonna have to change and I'm frustrated. Uh, <laughs> um, because I mean, dorms, they come with a bed, a dresser, a closet, and a desk, and a chair. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm stressed out. I'm worried. Uh, mm, so I hope everything turns out. I'm going to try to contact a few people and figure out what are the good places to look at. Um, there was one that looked really nice, but I don't think they have any vacancies, and I'm sad. I've been looking at that since, like, freshman, sophomore year, and it's right next to the school. Everything else is, like, ten minutes away. This is right next to the school. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to make plans with friends if we decide to live together and for getting to school and getting back from school and everything like that. So yeah, um, I guess I'll talk to you later and I'll probably keep you updated on that situation on Instagram just because this vlog will be over by the time I get answers because they plan to let me know if I get housing by July 13th. This is why I hate Apple products. I hate the battery on this thing because earlier it said it was at 75% and now it's at 20. So I hope it lasts through this clip. <laughs> but yeah, it is now nighttime. I'm about to get into bed. It's about 12.50ish. Tonight I was fully prepared to leave my makeup on because there were no makeup wipes in the bathroom. But I went to my dad's office and I found some. So I am gonna go to bed with no makeup on, but for the past, like, a couple weeks ago, I was going to bed with makeup on just because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, yeah, not a lot happened. Um, I really want to get the current, um, what do I want to call it? Current subject done, um, this weekend <laughs> on my studying, but the sections are so long. I'm on music and I got halfway through and I'm like... I'm burnt out. It took me hours. Like, this is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to say. I don't know what I have to say. Um, I got my video for tomorrow uh, saved to my computer so I can upload it to YouTube. Um, so I just have to create the thumbnail tomorrow while it's uploading to YouTube. Um, and then I started editing next week's video. <laughs> I got bored really quickly. Um, plus I like to go to bed around this time because my show starts at 1. Um, so yeah, it's a decent time to go to bed. I need to set my alarm. Um, so I wore my ring for maybe not even an hour. I went outside to walk my boyfriend's dog with him and it was hot. And my fingers swelled and so I just took it off. Um, and I couldn't really get it back on too easily. So I just left it off all day. Um, and then I put it on when I left, so I left his apartment about 10.30. So I put it on, and I've had it on since then. I just took it off. Like I said, it's almost 1 a.m. Um, and, yeah, my finger, it's not, it's not, um, feeling sensitive right now. You can see the indentation. It's on my ring finger. Um, but I just, I wouldn't have taken it off normally, but I'm just going to the gym tomorrow, and I don't want to work out with it on just because, like I said, my fingers swell when I get hot and I get hot in the gym. Um, and then, you know, it just gets in the way of um, machines, even though I'm not really going to be using my hands, but still. Um, I want to keep it as pristine as possible and not scuff it up at the gym. <laughs> so um, I'll just put it on after the gym probably. Um... I am dyeing my hair tomorrow, so this is going to be all gone. I don't know how many times I've said that this week. But, yeah, I hate dyeing my hair, but it's something that needs to be done because these roots are just nasty. You can't really see it when my hair is in this bun because it's mixed in with the rest of my hair, but if my hair is down, my roots are terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, to-do list tomorrow. Go to gym, dye my hair, and... Uh, finally fold my clothes. I'm currently standing on a dirty pile of clothes. Um, there's a hamper behind me with clean clothes and then there's a hamper over here uh, with more clean clothes and other things in there just because I haven't unpacked it from school. And then you know I got the clothes in the back but those are long sleeves so we're gonna focus on those later. But yeah so I really need to start getting this room clean especially if I'm gonna have to start moving furniture out to move into my apartment again. <laughs> So, yeah, 
Um, I really don't know what else to say. I don't know what I'll have to say tomorrow. Um, this is kind of an interesting vlog, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow, I guess. Alright, hello, it is Friday, June 26th, and I am headed to the gym. Oh boy, do I not want to go. Um, I'm actually getting out at the time I expected to get out, 10.30. Um, yeah, I, I still have no motivation to work out. Um, part of it is because, you know, I have to change, and that's a lot of work. Um, sorry, it's raining. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but good thing is I don't have to work out Saturday or Sunday, so I get two days of rest. Hopefully I'll be ready to go on Monday. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go over my workout schedule real quick. Just the thought process behind the days. So, I figured that I should probably go work out Monday because, um, you know, it's the beginning of the week. And I feel like if I don't work out on Monday, I won't be, I won't be motivated the rest of the week. So I get out and go Monday. <laughs> and then, uh, Tuesday... I feel like that's like an appropriate day to relax because you know Monday most of the times it takes a lot out of me to go and work out and it just works with the rest of my schedule and then also the pool's closed for cleaning on Tuesday so I'd I would only be able to go to the gym and then I work out Wednesday Thursday Friday alternating pool gym pool most of the time <laughs> this week was a little different but yeah, and so, um, the way I see it is, um, I give my muscles a break, um, with this schedule. So, um, swimming is a very upper body, um, workout. And so, Monday, I do, uh, so, left-handed problems. I get ink all over my hand, but Monday, I do a full body workout. So I do abs, I do arms, I do legs, I do whatever I feel like. And then Wednesday and Thursday, or Wednesday and Friday, I swim. And then Thursday, I do only legs. So that I am working out my arms on Wednesday and Friday, and then my legs on Thursday. Um, and that way, um, I, when I uh, work out my legs on Thursday, my arms aren't tired for swimming on Friday. So, it's the way I see it, it's the way that works for me. Um, I really only did that schedule for one week, and then this week kind of threw it out of whack, but I'm hoping I can get back to that schedule. Um, yeah, I am going to attempt to work out without my glasses today, just so I can wear the mask easier. I guess I'll let you go, because there's nothing really else to say. Oh, it's so nice to see you again, oh my goodness. I was in the gym for roughly an hour, give or take. Um, yeah, um, working out without my glasses really made it easier to breathe. Um, I wasn't fogging up my glasses all the time or having to have my glasses like down here. Uh, it's fogging up because it's so humid because it's raining. But um, yeah, it made it a lot easier. So I think I'm gonna start doing that because it wasn't too bad working out without them. Um, I just had to get really close to, like, the weights to figure out what they were on and what I was putting them on. <laughs> or use my phone camera, but it's fine. Yeah, so I did all legs today. <laughs> my legs are kind of dead, uh, but it's fine. I didn't really scale up on any weight today, but hopefully I'll go and do it next time. Just because some of the, I could tell I was getting some, used to some of the weights, and so I need to lift them up. But I usually drink a whole water bottle when I'm in there. And I didn't even drink half of it because it's just so hard to drink water with my mask on and so much work that I didn't really drink water unless I absolutely needed it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to head home and I have to dye my hair and take a shower and then I gotta get packed for the weekend to go stay the weekend at my boyfriend's house. Alright, as you can see my hair is now uh, dyed as much as it could lift. Um, it was pretty dark and I didn't really leave it on quite long enough. I think I kind of took it out about five minutes early, but that's okay. It looks better than it did. Um, yeah, and I am, I put my ring back on, so hopefully I can wear this for a little bit. 
Um, yeah, I didn't get my clothes done today, but that's okay. They're, they can wait. Um, yeah, but I, every weekend, I spend the, bo spend the weekend at my boyfriend's house. Um, I switch off weekends, so one weekend, so this weekend, I will stay Friday, I'll go Friday and then come back home Sunday. And then, like, next weekend, I'll stay, um, Friday night and I'll leave Saturday night, um, spend Saturday, like, the rest of Saturday night, I leave at, like, almost midnight, the rest of Saturday night and then Sunday morning to, like, afternoon at home and then I go over to his house. So this is my weekend to stay all weekend. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, I mean, nothing else is really gonna be exciting tonight. We're making burgers. So that's gonna be uh, fun, a little different. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and remember to give this video a like if you like these non-school related vlogs. And go ahead and leave a comment down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, bell so that you are notified when I update. Alright, have a good day guys. Goodbye.